What's up YouTube, this is FJ and today's video review is brought to you by Nauru and today I'm going to be talking about Nauru Mask. You can see here from their website guys that they offer a wide range of mask options. They have different lines depending on the features that you're looking for and specifically today I'm going to be talking about the Z5H and the FU Plus Copper. So guys with lockdown here in southern Ontario I haven't been able to go out snowboarding yet. So I've actually been going out for runs to test out the performance out in cold weather. I've been running during the day, late afternoon, early evening, as well as nighttime. Temperatures ranged anywhere between plus three degrees Celsius down to minus seven degrees Celsius, give or take some wind chill in there. And I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the features, the performance, the quality of materials, the comfort and the fit of these masks. So here we have the Z5H. And you can see here the kind of coverage that this mask offers. And the key feature about the Z5H is this inner cage. They call it the X-Bone 3. So the biggest concern I've had with previous masks that I've tried is breathability. A lot of complaints now too with, with the whole COVID pandemic. Everyone's saying it's harder to breathe in these masks. And what I've discovered as well too personally is it's the space in front of your mouth that feels like it's restricting when you're trying to breathe. So they've implemented here a cage that provides you with 3D air room for easy breathing. What I would usually wear in the past is a balaclava and I would normally have the bottom part, instead of covering my entire mouth, I would just have it underneath my lip like that because I still wanted to be able to breathe. Other models I've tried, standard kind of bandanas or like even premium fabric bandanas go over your whole mouth like this. It provides good coverage for temperature control, but again, because it's right up against your mouth, the breathability isn't great. You can't take deep breaths when you're doing physical activity. Similar with face shields, again, once you have that over your actual mouth, you don't have the breathing room in front of your mouth. Anything that's kind of snug around my neck for face coverage ends up underneath my mouth like this. So my issue with that is over time, this area around my face gets particularly cold and with my skin condition, vitiligo, it gets exposed to the sun. I want to be able to provide full coverage on my face for sun protection and temperature protection against the cold, but still have that breathing room so that I can take deeper breaths during physical activity. Running and snowboarding, anything that's going to cause you to take more frequent deep breaths for prolonged physical activity, you're going to want that breathing room. And so that's what this cage actually provides. Now, I don't know if you guys have tried this before, but if you put any kind of space between your mask and your mouth, even if you want to test it out with your hands, you'll notice that you can take those deeper breaths and you won't feel that constriction around your lips when you're taking the deeper breaths versus something that's snug up against your face. They have two clips here that actually keep the cage in place. And you also have the wire above the bridge of your nose for a custom fit. They implemented this high back. Because it rests higher on your head, you don't get any tension or pressure above the ears that pull down. A lot of the masks I've tried in the past, like the Ride Chi, had these ear loops that would rest above your ears. But over time, with movement and the weight of the mask, and it gets wet and it gets heavier, you start to feel a little bit of that strain and that discomfort above the ears. So having this high back, it's very comfortable to wear for a prolonged amount of time. They've even innovated the cage itself from a previous model to make it more comfortable resting against your face. And I do feel that with the added surface area here resting against your face. Gives you more breathing room as well. And the mask is perforated, so it allows you to take in fresh, cool air as well, which helps for the physical activity. Exhaling isn't as hindered versus a mask that's not as perforated. They've implemented specific stitching areas too to keep it away from your eyes. Some masks with the way they're designed, if it's a flat kind of a cut for the mask, it starts to reach up under your eyes. So the fabric is moisture wicking and it's not very thick. I find that with physical activity, anything thicker does get really warm. You start to sweat even more. So having just the right thickness of fabric is pretty important for temperature control as well as sweat and moisture control. They really put a lot of thought as to where they would stitch tension bands and where it would provide extra support on your face. So guys, I'm going to show you what the Z5H looks like on me. So I have it here over my neck and I'm just going to place the cage right about here over my mouth. Right there, center it out. I'm going to put my glasses on guys so you can see this. So again, you have the high back to alleviate the pressure on your ears here. And guys, what I would normally have for music, I just have these wireless earbuds. 
that I would place in my ears and then I would just put it over like that. And then I would take my moisture wicking toque, place that over like this. So you can see guys too, like even with volume and speaking, it's not hindered at all. You have that extra space around your mouth. And I can take deep breaths. As you exhale, the warm air rises and it does end up getting onto my glasses, which do fog up. You won't have that issue when you're snowboarding because when you have your goggles pushed up against the bridge of your nose, most glasses don't have a coating for anti-fog, but your goggles do. So when I exhale really heavily on here, I can tell you guys that the glasses don't fog up inside versus if I have just glasses, you can see that my glasses do fog up. So that was my only issue while I was running. I would end up having to remove my glasses or have to wear contacts while I'm running. As with any kind of barrier over your mouth, the more you breathe out in cold weather, it's gonna build up moisture onto the fabric. And the more moisture that gets trapped by the fabric, the more it would perpetuate fog forming on your glasses as you exhale. So again, because of that, I would either take off my glasses or wear my contacts or if I'm running at nighttime and I'm not as cautious about sun exposure on my skin, I would pull down the mask under my lip like this. They actually provide an even more advanced solution for those fogging issues with the Z9H. As you can see here, in response to the fabric collecting too much moisture, they've implemented a zipper opening above the cage. The moist air coming from your exhale can escape the mask a lot better. And to take it a step further to prevent that warm air from rising up into your goggles or your glasses, they've designed this exhale outbreathing exhaust pipe that fits into the Z9H like that so that when you breathe out, the air goes downward away from your goggles and away from your glasses. It's something I'd really like to try as well. I'm not really sure if it's necessary because again of the anti-fog technology on snowboarding and ski goggles, they usually have a coating that prevents it from fogging up but I'm really curious to see how this would perform with my glasses while I'm running as well. If you've seen some of my snowboarding videos before, you'll notice that sometimes on colder days, I would wear an additional fleece neck warmer above my balaclava. So similarly, I can do the same thing with the Z5H. Now it's pretty crazy with the pandemic how much masks have become a normal thing across the entire world and they range anywhere from the medical type of masks to a wide range of fabric masks that you can buy in clothing stores and then now more and more tech sportwear companies like Oakley and Under Armour, Adidas and Nike are coming out with their own masks. So with that, I wanna talk about how Nauru has designed their line of masks for everyday wear. So I've tried a number of those generic masks, the Velcro air filter type of mask, stretchy mask that you see a lot of people wear too. It's more of a dusk mask. The more generic style fabric mask with the loops for the ears to keep them in place. And here's another version of that. But the main issue with these masks is when you have them on your face, there's some openings above your cheeks, the sides of your cheeks, and even underneath your chin. So I've been testing out the FU Plus Copper, which is a washable filtering antimicrobial mask. So with the FU Plus Copper, put it on here. You also have that wire for a custom fit on the bridge of your nose. You can see here, guys, that it provides a very confident seal above my cheeks, the sides of my cheeks, and underneath my chin. Style-wise too, it looks really good. Not as breathable as the Z5H again because it doesn't have that cage. But the cool thing is you can actually remove this cage from the Z5H. You know, if you're gonna put it in the wash, you don't wanna put it in with the cage. And I would just put that between the mask and have that extra breathing room inside this mask for everyday wear. So because this is a filtering antimicrobial mask, you're not gonna have those additional perforation holes in front of the mask for your exhale. So as with any other mask, I'm gonna have fogging issues on my glasses like this. I don't know if you guys can really see it in the video, but I can see it on my glasses for sure. It's not so bad here at home because it's relatively dry here. It varies depending on how much humidity there is outside. I prefer using my glasses when I'm working, photography and videography. So I do find myself looking for a better solution for a mask that I can wear while working during this pandemic. I did get a size large for face coverage, but I do like how they implemented adjustable ear loops for sizing and comfort. But the only critique I would have about these ear loops is the way they do sit on my ears. I have relatively smaller ears and the way it sits 
kind of tugs forward and it causes my ears to kind of stick out versus if they were to design this loop more like this dust mask. So this is a generic dust mask. It's just one layer of fabric, doesn't provide nearly as much filtering antimicrobial protection. But what I do like about how they've designed this mask is the fabric sits flush against your skin. So behind my ears here, I don't feel that tension pulling my ears forward. So that's really the only critique I have regarding these ear loops. So yeah guys, you can check out their full line of masks at narumask.com. They have a really cool story and vision behind why they've designed these masks. If you guys are interested in ordering any of their masks from their very wide range of options, make sure you use code FJBREATHE5 and you'll get 5% off your order. So there you have it guys, the Naru mask Z5H and FU plus copper. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask down below in the comments. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when the next one comes out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.